Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Edwards, creator and author of The One-Up Effect, showing you how to have fun becoming your most complete self through purpose, play, passion, and performance. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the most self-destructive habit that you may have. Years ago, when I used to set goals for myself, I always knew that there was a certain process that I needed to take. But the problem was, I was always worried about the process being broken or really me breaking the process. And when I would make momentum, I'd be really, really excited about the progress that I was making. But then something would happen, either life would life or I would get in my own way and maybe that day wasn't so great. But what ended up happening in my mind was because that day wasn't great, maybe everything that I did was for naught and it would completely derail any momentum, any progress that I made, and essentially ending my journey towards that goal. And I realized that this was actually a habit that I formed over time, where if I didn't do it exactly the same way over and over again and produce the same results consistently, then that means that it stopped working and it was no longer effective and I needed to stop altogether. And that actually was not true. That became my most destructive habit. And I realized over time that it's not perfect. The entire journey from getting from point A to point B, which is going to require you to become a different person, isn't going to be easy, isn't going to be smooth, and is definitely not going to be pretty. And I've learned that even if I'm doing something as simple as losing weight by having healthier meals, if I have one meal that is not as healthy as the last meal I had, it doesn't mean that everything that I did was for not. See, this is the self-destructive behavior that I see in a lot of my clients and maybe you, this, this is something that you, you deal with. Here's a quick solution. Even if it wasn't as good as it was before, meaning what you tried to do in your level of performance wasn't to the level that it was previously, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden everything is broken and you need to give up or change things up. It just means for that particular moment, that was your level of performance. You have to remember that two different reference points to look at. There's the immediate reference point, which is what most people look at, which is, well, it wasn't as good as the last time, and so maybe I'm losing momentum, or maybe I suck now, and maybe I should give up. Then there's the absolute reference point, which is, wow, even though it wasn't as good as the previous one, it's still remarkably better than how I started before or what I was doing previously. So whenever you're making progress towards a goal and your momentum is continuing to build and maybe your performance isn't there to what it used to be, instead of looking at what it was previously, I want you to take a look back to where you started and what activity and behavior you had back then and you'll notice that there is still a significant gap between what you're doing now and what you're doing then. And that should give you enough motivation and focus to be able to keep going, push through that lull, and eventually get to your goal. But this is what I think. I wanna hear what you think. Comment below, let me know what you think about this idea. You know, it, Do you believe that this could be your most self-destructive habit? Comment below, let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, get notified when we put out videos, which happen almost every single day. And if you found this video interesting, please share this with someone who might find this interesting too. I'd love to hear from them and get them in on the conversation. And if you wanna learn the exact process and science behind leveling up your health, wealth, self, and romance without sacrificing professional ambition and happiness, you can go to thomasedwardsjr.com. Once again, this is Thomas Edwards reminding you to make life a game that you can win and have fun playing. Until next time, I'll see you around.